Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to Codename 4. Uh, this tutorial is uh, for uh, for the beginners, for everybody who find the server, uh, want to play, and don't know how to start. This video uh, is for you. First, when you load into 5M, uh, you need to come to the settings to enable a few things. Some camera shaking, you know. So just enable these before logging into the server. So you don't want to hear this music if you're streaming. Make space. Okay, guys. Now let's talk over the settings. What you need to do in the settings. First thing you need to start with is the voice chat. At the beginning, it's gonna be for your listening device. It's gonna be off. You enable it. Select your uh, headset uh, and max out these. And then select your what my, your microphone. Enable your microphone, and then select your microphone. Uh, vo keep your voice activated if your uh, if your microphone is good and nobody around you. Uh, select push to talk if you have a lot of noise, background noise, a lot of people around you. And then max out the volume and adjust the sensitivity according uh, your microphone. In advanced uh, category, keep everything off and run the resolution at the highest uh, things possible the graphics can ha can handle. For the graphics settings here, uh, 2 and 4. Off if you really have really low graphics card and you're really struggling with frames, just turn it off altogether. If you have a, a like a good graphics card, keep this one 2 or 4. Don't go over 8. 8 is not, is not needed. These things are off. Uh, focus loss is off. Uh, these two is going to be maxed out at the beginning, so turn them off. This is scaling. Uh, you can max that out. But I keep I like to keep it uh, ninety percent, eighty percent because I really don't need to like see everything far away, especially if I have a graphics mod that allows me to see clear, so I don't have to like, strain uh, my GPU that much. But uh, for this, the most important thing here is the extended uh, texture budget. This one extended to the to the one hundred percent. But if you're running on a video RAM, uh, lower this. See, like when I extend mine, is gonna put my things into the. Uh, orange category i like to keep it clean just because uh, green i like to keep my video memory green just because i have obs on my stream and record that's why i'm i want to save some little bit of video memories for other other softwares otherwise if you're not streaming in obs you can put this 100 or 90 percent but for me i'm going to keep it 80 percent texture quality always keep it very very high shader quality very high for the shadow i don't recommend putting a shadow or no uh, above normal no matter what gpu you have you have a low end GPU or have a high end GPU, keep this shit as normal because even if you have a high end GPU, uh, the frames of uh, the frames and the rendering that goes for the shadow, use that to save it for better frames with a lot of people. Uh, the good equation here in code name for that you need to have at least 100 frames or more when there are no cars around you. Because when you go to car meet, if you have 100 frames, 120 frames with no car around you. Once you start going with car meets that pop in 20, 30 players, your your frame rate is going to go down 60, 40, even 30. Sometimes go 15 if at nighttime with a lot of lights. So that's why don't strain your GPU by putting a very high shadow. It's not worth it. Is it high is not worth it. Just keep it normal. Just have a little dark black shadow on the car. That's it. For, for, for reflection, uh, you can put ultra. But for me, I put very high just because, I, as I told you before, I don't want my video memory to go into the uh, my orange area. Uh, but it's very good for taking shots. If you're taking shots, if, if you're a photographer or like to take uh, pictures and recording, put it ultra and then put it back in very high. Normally, just because you know you want to save up a little bit of frames and near uh, current. This one times eight as well. Everything here is uh, very high. Put it very high if you have a good GPU, 3070, uh, 3060. But if you have like a 1070, uh, 1080 is like those low-end GPU, uh, low GPU, just put it at high and normal. Uh, same thing goes for the grass, same thing as the shadow. If you're taking pictures and like to, you care about the vegetation around the background in the picture, put this in ultra. If you don't care, you can lower this down. It will save you a bit of GPU. But keep in mind, you have to reset the game for this one to work. Uh, for the post effects, I like mine to be very uh, high because when you change this one, it's gonna multiply the effects that you have. Uh, graphics mods, graphics mod have these effects uh, affect your game a lot. It will eat a lot of your performance, a lot of your GPU performance if you have a lot of map packs on your mod folder. So, if you attending to car meets, put this one high. If you just take a picture, you can put this in ultra, take a picture, and then put it back in high. Uh, 
for the, for these filtering and these three options um put it as maximum as possible just because it, it will help fixing the the issue with the greeny and glary uh, roads and it makes your game much more acceptable to play um, display here uh the brightness um, if your game is too bright turn this down uh, also we have a lot of filters in the game the comma and then go filters you can adjust a lot of filters here you know what i mean so you don't have to worry about the brightness uh in the settings if your game is not that bright you can have a lot of things that makes your game bright you know what i mean useful key is the no clip key which is the above cap and base on the left hand side of one you press q to go up press z to go down press w to go forward press s to go backwards and then you you point where you want to go with the mouse the, the comma key which is the active uh, active the camera if you are taking pictures also you can attach the camera to a player and then you can have a good cinematics uh, another uh, something you need to uh, know that you, you can go to miss and settings teleport option and then teleport location and this will take you to a lot of uh, maps we have around the server okay when you log into the game you're gonna be invisible most of the time what do you do click m player related options and pp uh customization and then create a male or female character uh you need to start with uh clothes and then mask because you need to take off uh this purple beard and it's uh, number 122 most likely okay for me it's 122 because uh i have more stuff than you do if for you, if it's the one, two, three, one, two, four, you take that purple beard off. That's the first thing. And then you change uh, your jackets. Let's say I like this one, but it's uh, poking out. You change the upper body. Okay, you click space to turn around to see nothing is poking through your back either. After you're done customizing your uh, your first character, you want to go to uh, character appearance and character inheritance. Make sure for the first character to spend a lot of time in it in customizing your character in terms of face and hair and everything. And then once you 100% sure that's how you want to look like, you want to do is you want to clone this uh, this outfit and tap it. Uh, let's see tutorial okay uh, i'm gonna go to the tutorial uh character that i created okay and then i click clone tutorial 2 okay so cloning this means it's gonna keep your inheritance and facial features and you can uh, just put cl another clothes another type of style on it so you don't have to look you don't have to change your hair from uh or or whatever you look like from one character from one clothes or one set of character saved to another one you know what i mean it's, you're going to be look exactly the same you're just changing the outfits in every single one that saves you a ton of time but once you're done making your character you have to go on it and then click enter and then set as a default character this may, this means when you log in again it's gonna spawn you with this character otherwise it's gonna spawn you invisible my selling is set and here what do you want to do and here you want to uh, enable one of these because the speedometer in the right hand corner is not fully accurate if you want to know display location if you want to play as a police officer down the road after being a regular for 20 days or more uh, you need these to know the streets the district and headings in the game this one is important because it's going to show the, the players around you so this is a karmic server so you want to meet with other people you want to know where they are so I'm, I'm highly recommending keeping this one on this one already come with a default so make sure it's just checked in it's already uh, I've been playing the server for almost a year now so I can't remember if this is come as uh, checked in as a default at the beginning or not but if not make sure this one is one as a default character is on and then make sure you click on the save personal settings at the bottom first thing you want to do want to do when you go to log in uh join code 94 you press f5 you select any of the cars you would like to spawn you can work on it by by going m menu vehicles vehicle options and then mod menu 
and then you can start behaving up by spoilers from bumpers, speed bumpers, yada yada. You need to, you see this plate? It's a, it's a random plate, okay? This random plate, it's not something you would like to save your car in, uh, because this is just a random generated plate. So what you're gonna do is after uh, you customize your car that you spawn from the F5, um, as you can see on the right hand side, the sprammer on top of it, it doesn't show up any mileage. So what I want to do is I want to get find the nearest garage. I don't remember the plate, but I don't want to save this plate, so I'll go to here and then go to um, set license plate. I'm gonna call this one tutorial. Okay, enter. Okay, and then I'm gonna click OK. Okay. Now the tutorial plate is belong to me and everything I'll do is gonna save under the tutorial name and then I'm gonna click E and then I'm gonna search for tutorial and then take the car out take out so now this car is mine and as you can see at the bottom it started having mileage zeros that means everything I every time I drive the car it's gonna start racking up mileage on on the zero plate let me start the car and now this car is belong to me, 100%. If you got pulled over by a cop and ask you for uh, insurance or registration, you can easily show him because this is, is yours. Okay, now the car is yours. What are you going to do? You want to tune, right? So you're going to approach the workbench at uh, any place, assuming that you have the parts. Okay, and then you want to craft uh, at the beginning... Uh, I would recommend starting easy by crafting something very easy, which is the easiest thing to craft are the tires. Okay, because the tires requires no ingredients at the beginning. So just to give you a heads up how to start. So right now it's crafting. Beginning, I recommend with tires, starting with then brakes, and then move the spark plugs, then oil, then uh, suspension, turbo, and then moving the last uh, and the hardest thing is the engine. So what you're gonna do once you're getting your parts done and and you want to tune the car you go here and hold g and then click on the red mechanical uh, dot right here and then you're gonna pop up with this menu here uh this one uh, on the left hand side here uh the top left corner is the engine next to it to the right is the spark plugs next to it to the right furthest right is the transmission bottom left here at the tires middle center is oil uh center right is uh, brakes uh bottom uh, bottom left is uh, suspension um middle bottom is uh turbos and superchargers and then bottom right is nos let's change tires for example let's, uh, let's do replace uh let's pick tires for example that I already crafted i think i crafted this one okay see when i to click craft it it's going to show install tires in all of them you go here and then press e to change the tires you don't have to leave B like in a specific location. Uh, the the closer you to the tire is, the more you feel like you're on RPing and immense and actually changing tire. You can press it anywhere, you know. But uh, we just do it for for like feeling uh, that you actually working on the car, you know. Now, um, after finishing with the tires, uh, you can you know the idea and how to mod your vehicle. Button. You're gonna go to the workbench. Go to the engine that you want to craft, and then let's say I want to craft uh, this Honda in line four. So all these parts should be white like that when you're about to make them. I think something is gonna show darkening. Let me see if I'm missing a part. If uh, making something, Does it make oil. Yeah, see, when you're missing a part, it's gonna show dark gray on on the on the item that you miss missing. So for example, for oil, I'm missing a detergent to make an oil. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you head to the to the store to buy them. Uh, it's for free. You don't have to worry about it. It just makes sure that you get the part. Those and then another one. So let's say I'm missing detergent, right? So I'm gonna look for detergent. So all I do is just hold right until you reach it, like until you reach a number that you satisfied with. Okay, I'm satisfied for 100. Then click enter, enter. You can click enter, 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 like, and you buy like millions of them are like in five seconds see easy spamming easy like no whatsoever now i have like millions of detergents in my pocket 
uh, save that in your inventory. Your inventory button is F2. That's uh, your inventory that shows the parts that you have. Once you get the part from uh, from this door at 803, you can do slash postal 803. So the GPS sets on your map and you can easily uh, navigate to this place. You continue holding G and then uh, replacing uh, replacing the engines. Of course, once what well, after you you crafting them here in this workbench, you craft them here. Uh, I'm gonna craft a quick engine, real quick engine. Let's say I'm gonna craft the Honda NSX V6. Craft, bam, voila! Look at the parts that are behind me that is already taken. And then holding G here, we replace. Uh, let's say that you've been uh, driving your car for a long mileage and it's time to do a checkup on your car. So here, for example, I have to replace my my tires. If I drive for like three, four minutes on these tires, it's gonna pop. Uh, they're, they're dead. Uh, at this state, you can't re you can't repair it. If it's uh, if it's in the green, then you can repair it. At the moment, you can't repair uh, th something that reached this low. Uh, it's cheaper and easier to repair than replace. Uh, you click here. You click click repair. What's the difference? Replacing it's you have to you have to replace the whole part repairing you use some uh lubricants or some uh cleaners to clean the already exist existing parts with cheaper way and easier way and faster uh, animation to do okay so let's do inspect inspecting the brakes will tell you that you need one of wd-40 lubricants to repair the brakes to make it more efficient last longer so i do i already have this in my inventory so i'm gonna click g again and then go to brakes and click on repair so all i have to do is just click in e on each one of those uh, brakes it's gonna do the same animation as you were replacing the brakes but at the end, instead of uh, costing me to change like irons as an ingredient to change the brakes, it's actually just costing me one bottle of uh, what WD-40 lubricants. Uh, the car is yours. Now what's next? Next, you want to put decals. Put decals on G, and there go the stickers at the bottom, the bottom, bottom here called stickers. Okay. It's sometimes it's gonna say you're not looking at the vehicles, so you just have to like like uh, move again in front of the car or, uh, from like the rear end of the car or the front okay you click add uh, and then you have to like go through these uh, whatever you like uh, let's do Gran Turismo uh, this is a Nissan oh, this is infinity right so let's uh, let's get something creative for example okay let's do this fact okay the fake three events. Okay. Click enter, and then um, a sticker should appear. Okay. Uh, you do the same thing. You got up to sixteen stickers. Sadly, we don't have two hundred layers like or a thousand layers like CarX has or Forza. Uh, only sixteen layers per car. Uh, that's just a limitation of GTA Five and Five M. Uh, you hold G stickers and you play stickers once you want for example, you're not satisfied how it looks or how it's positioned You hold G again you go stickers uh, you Edit enter item and then you can scroll the mouse again to rechange the size if you don't like the location just click delete and The sticker would delete Go to the editor here all right, guys, uh, that's it for this tutorial for this, how to get you into Code 94, how to start. In another episode, I'll talk about the full features of Code 94, including the, the, the keys, the housing, all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about the, at the beginning. At the beginning, you have to, as, as, a, as a beginner, you need to worry about your character, how to take off the purple beard, uh, being not invisible, downloading the assets, uh, getting your car saved, and you're good to go. Thank you guys watching for the, this episode, uh, and if you do like it, give a thumbs up, uh, uh, thumbs up and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.